Good morning, everybody. We back. I don't, for what? I don't know, but we're back. <laughs> I'm sitting here drinking coffee and vaping, uh, which I didn't think I can vape on camera, or I shouldn't vape on camera. I don't know. Sometimes they, they want to hit you on that, you know. But uh, anyway, guys, we're going to talk about some ohms today. I, I get so many messages over ohms. And, uh, yeah, I just, I got a little tip that I like to do for ohms, but and a lot of people were messaging me about my DS-18 Hooligan KO amps, which I really like the amps. They're good. I'm probably going to swap up this summer, but, uh, for, uh, these amps are great. Uh, I've had nothing but good luck with them. And, uh, there's other companies out there that I could, I could swap to, uh, U.S. Acoustics, get your U.S. Acoustics at G2 Dynamics. <clears throat> Paul's getting ready to start carrying them. Uh, there's been a lot of good talk about them. I know they are a Korean amplifier, which is good. And then, you know, I, I'm waiting on that Synergy Audio, baby. I I really like the Synergy subs that uh, I put in the wife's blazer. So, and, you know, their pride ship is their amplifiers. I've never really seen anybody at all post a bad comment about their amplifiers. And if they do pop up for sale use, they are gone quick. But anyway, we're going to get the ohms, baby. Ohms. Uh, first and foremost, a lot of people keep asking me what I run my amps at ohm-wise. And uh, I, that's the question. You know, I run them at a half ohm each which I have them strapped at a one ohm load. So each amp C in half. But uh, I have tested one of these amps down to 0.4 because my wife's little edge, when I had that 45 amp hour C-Max in there, uh, we were charging right around 16 and I stuck one in there and she's got FI subs and you know, they they never come out with a proper ohm load. They're always like, one six, one four, one five, somewhere in that ballpark. So her final ohm load's point four. Now for the noobs here wondering like how the hell do you get a point four or point three or whatever? Well, and her car, her subs, <coughs> they're around the, the dual one five. So if you parallel, which parallel wiring is hot to hot, ground to ground. And a quick way to figure this out is you take like 1.5 and divide it by 4. You're going to wind up around that 0.3333 or 0.4. On the multimeter, her car actually read 0.4. So that's how you wind up with it. But you can just do it like this. Like say, okay, you're 1.5 on that one subwoofer you parallel the, the dual 1.5s and you actually come out, you know, around a 0.8 or sometimes it'd be 0.67. On the multimeter, it was uh, 0.8, I believe. And then you parallel 0.8 together and you get 0.4 on hers. <clears throat> now, I like using the calculator a lot because... It's just easier. I kind of have all this stuff memorized now. <clears throat> but, like, I plan on doing 615s in here. So, they're dual fours. So, I'm going to take pairs of three. I'm going to parallel them down to two. So, if you take two divided by three, you get 0. .666. So, that's what you do. You know, you take each sub. You do your wiring on that particular sub if you're going to do parallel or series. Now, series is a little trickier. That's where you use this positive off this coil, this negative off this coil, and bridge the other two remaining terminals. Uh, that would be a series. So if you got dual twos, that makes that a 4-ohm sub at that point. Or if you parallel dual twos, like hot to hot, ground to ground, you got a 1-ohm load at that point. And for me, dual fours, run them down to two ohm, each one, parallel all three. Like I said the easiest way to calculate this is you've got 
a two ohm load and you got three of them. So you take your two ohm load on your calculator, you divide it by three, you get 0 0.6666666. Yeah, it, it just keeps going. 0 0.67 is what everybody calls it. So that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, that's going to be my final ohm load on a pair of amp strapped. <laughs> now, <laughs> works for me, guys. It, it works for me. Um, for me, it's just easier to do it that way. Uh, that's going to make each amplifier see like basically 0.33. They should be able to handle it fine. They're Korean. Um, when I had uh, the old tear amps in here, I kind of did the same thing. Uh, my prides were dual one sixes and, you know, I just paralleled like that ohm load, you know, you take 1.6, you divide it by four. <laughs> and uh, I had like a 0.33 ohm load on each Taramp 78K when I had two of them in here. So uh, it did fine. I mean, I've never had a tr problem running amps that low. I have a lot of battery power, electrical, you know, the alternators are really good. So they handled it. Now, there were occasionally times, you know, certain songs that that note would come dropping in pretty hard and it would protect. And both amps would protect and, and they just straight would go in to protect and I'd reset everything and they come right back out, which is awesome because they didn't blow. Uh, but you know, when you play with ohm loads that low, and I'm telling you guys, you got to really know what you're doing. You got to have a good understanding of impedance rise and everything. Cause it don't matter what the amplifier sees ohm wise, uh, for the load. It's what it's doing when it's playing, you know, like this, this thing's got, you know, usually like three to four times rise in this enclosure. So it, it took quite a bit for me to drop around that 0.7 where the tar amps like to protect that. Uh, but that's kind of, you know, figure out your own loads, guys. Uh, that's kind of what this video is about, telling you how to do it. Now, ohm loads can get tricky because say you got a bunch of like dual two subs and really what, what it comes down to is what you're going to do with your final ohm loads. <clears throat> Because you got a bunch of dual two subs, you know, you can series them and get like the four ohm load. And then if you've got a bunch of them and you've only got two amplifiers, like, you know, you've wired them to four and say you take like four here, you've got 16 and you, you got four dual, I'm getting confused hell. <laughs> but say you got dual four or dual twos, you've wired them all up to four ohm. And so you got 16 of them. So you got four, four ohm loads here. Now you could basically run four, four ohm subs down to a half. Uh, and then you take another set that's at a half and you can series that them two together into a one ohm load. And you can do the same over here and run it all down to a half. Uh, an easy way to do this, I can figure out a lot of it in my head as I just did, but you can also like do this with pen and paper and, you know, divide your subs. If you had like 16 subs, dual twos, you run them all four ohm, you know, you can get your final ohm load here, 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 and here with graft it out on paper. And, you know, for your amplifiers, try to find a workable ohm load. God, this gets confusing. It's too early in the morning. I'm still drinking my coffee, but, uh, a calculator does help you a lot because with a calculator, you can just like get different configurations of how you're going to wire each sub, whether it's parallel or series. And you can kind of get your little notepad and you can just throw in, like I said, you type in the ohm load and divided by how many they are. And that's going to give you your final ohm load. And like I said, you can do it in clusters of subs. And at that point, 
you know, you'll have that many ohm loads at the final of that group of subs to play with. And, you know, when I was planning on doing eight in here, I had like different scenarios figured out of how to do it to wire to the amps. Uh, and now that I've dropped to six, you know, it's like, okay, I'm just going to wind up with a 0.67 ohm load. I'm going to keep the amp strapped at that point, but there's ways Really, there is no other way I could do it with six. Uh, I mean, there is. I could, like, put two amps on these three, two amps on these three, not strapped, and run, like, three of the voice coils to this amp from them three, three of the voice coils to this amp. Now, I've seen people argue this in, like, groups on Facebook and say it don't work. Sam at Bear Vids is the one that taught me how to do that, and I've tried it before, and I've had really good luck. But the thing is, you know, I don't really want to do it that way because I can't get my ohm load right because I would have three four ohm loads per amp. So if you take a four ohm load, divide it by three, you wind up with 1.33, which I don't want. Uh, 1.33 ain't going to give me as much power per amp as 0.3. <laughs> now, if you're wondering how I'm getting 0.3, there again, we're strapped, and when you strap the amps, whatever load you stick in it gets divided by the amplifier. So, you know, if I got a 1.33 ohm load per three coils and three coils, <laughs> I can take them coils and wire each sub at two ohm rather than doing, you know, four ohm coils here, four ohm coils here, three on each side. I can wire them three subs down to two ohm each. And we've already, you know, determined that two divided by three is 0.66. So that's going to be the final ohm load for them three subs. You strap the amps. Now that's your ohm load, but it gets cut in half. So each amp would see 0.33. Uh, I know this shit sounds technical to the new guys here, you know, or the guys that, that's still learning. You old school base heads like, man, this is elementary stuff. It is it is for a lot of us, but we had to learn too. And I know when I first started learning about ohm loads, it was it was kind of tricky at first because, you know, you're either cutting the ohm load in half or you're doubling it. And that's just, just how it works out. Once you understand that, the difference between parallel wiring and series wiring, you're going to have everything figured out. But even then... You know, there's so many different configurations you can do with like, you can series wire the subs and then parallel them, or you can parallel wire half of this group, this group, this group, and then series them all out. You know, there's just so many different things you can do. Like in essence, if you want to sit there and wire everything, you could take a hundred dual voice call subs and wire to an amp and you could get your own load, you know, right close to where you wanted it is just taking the time to do it. And you could do that by, you know, series wire and subs parallel and, and clusters, and then series them clusters together and then parallel down and just keep it going. And, and you're going to get where you want to be. But anyway, guys, I want to thank y'all for watching. A lot of people requested to see pictures of my tattoo work. I told y'all I'm not, I'm good. I'm just not great at it. And I enjoy that y'all like my videos and you know, I see a lot of you guys referencing me on Facebook saying that, you know, I have a pretty good technical channel. I thank you for that. I do appreciate the comments and all the comments on the video. So keep typing away. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all have a great day. I'm going to work to make some money guys. Peace out and base on. What? You're still here? Well, if you're still here, we got the little bonus feature in this video. This is where I film at. We're gonna go back up to the main road that I use to uh, get back here. This is place a couple miles from my house. Nothing major. Sorry, you're shaking. This is a rough ride, no duh. Actually, the Jeep ride's pretty smooth, but you can tell it's a dirt road, guys. It's a decent 
decent ways to this main road up here. It's a good enough distance. I, it don't bother me to film back here thinking I'm going to bother anybody. But way up the road from where I've been parking and filming, they're building like a subdivision. I'm trying to stabilize my camera with my hand here. Rough-ass road. Across goes to the highway that leads to my house. But I gotta turn this way to go to work. Thank y'all for watching this crap, guys. Have a good day. Peace out. Base on.